Here we go. Catch it. Drive him back. Tag, then throw. This is Tim Corbin, head baseball coach at Vanderbilt University. And we're gonna show you some bunting drills and utilize the KC Pro in order to do it. We do a lot of repetitive bunting with the KC Pro because it throws a lot of consistent fastballs or you can go breaking balls as well. But right now we're using this for fastballs so we can get a good number of bunts all at one time. The reason the KC Pro is so good in terms of bunting is because it gives you a quick paced baseball. It can put the ball exactly where you want it and you're not having to throw the ball and utilize a, an arm. The location of the machine is used right on top of the mound at 60 feet 6 inches. I think that's important because you do want the height of the machine at a level that is close to a pitch ball and a release point as possible. So it does simulate a pitch ball. The reason the machine is valued so much is because of number one, you can get a lot of repetitions in a short amount of time rather than a thrown ball. The other thing is the machine has the ability to put enough energy into the baseball like a pitch ball where you can throw that ball anywhere from 70 to 80, 85 miles an hour. And with the micro adjustments you can move it back and forth and if you want to take the speed dial, set the dial underneath a little bit higher than the dial up above because what we want to show is any type of fastball and if we want to make it a little bit more difficult then we'll just add velocity by just adjusting the speed level slightly. A coach needs to set this up with the timing of his hand. He'll pick up a baseball, put it up in the air so the bunter can go from a hitting position to a bunting position. So there's a timing mechanism that we use with the machine. We use the cones and it's just a target area for the hitters to use in terms of where the location of the ball should go. Kids like it because it gives them a visual and also helps the coach in terms of the angle of the bat so they can secure the area of where the ball is supposed to go. Okay what we're doing here is a hitter is just going back and forth it's going from the right side of the infield to the left side of the infield. We're dropping sacrifice bunts to the first base side as well as the third base side. You notice how he goes from the hitting position first, he adjusts his feet and squares around. When we want to get lower to the ball, what we do is we get a little bit wider with our feet and we try to get our chest out over our leg a little bit in order to get lower to the ball. It's a little bit easier to bunt the ball when we're down underneath it than it is going from up to down. Okay, good fellas, good, did a nice job.